Okay, so we're going to apply the distributive property and solve again. In these, this exam, this type, we're going to have fractions. So uh, we'll go over this example together, and then hopefully you can do this one by yourself. Okay. So please write this down. It's two equals one fifth times five x plus ten. Okay, two equals a fifth times five x plus ten. So this time again, you know, we've got to apply the distributive property first. But this time we're multiplying by one fifth. So we're going to take the one fifth and multiply that by everything inside here, right? Okay. And I guess I like to write out the steps. So I like to say, okay, that's a fifth times five x. Okay. And then that's a one fifth times plus. That's a plus, right? and it's one-fifth times um, 10. And this is no different than any other distributive property. It's just that um, writing out the fifth just kind of helps me to, or helps us to simplify the fractions, okay? So at this point, it's kind of nice to write the five X as a fraction, five X over one, and maybe write the 10 as a fraction, 10 over one. And then simplify it from here, you know. And um, you can, you know, you can cross cancel, or you can, you know, some students just prefer to write. If you multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms, what do you get? See, you get five x over five, right? So some students like to do that, and that's okay. And here we have one times ten is ten over five, right? And what does each thing become? So this would be 5x over 5 is what? 1x, right? What's 10 over 5? 2. So you get x plus 2, right? But the neater way would be to cross cancel. You could go 5 to 5 goes once here and here, and you get 1x over 1, which is just x, okay? And then you can cross cancel here. 5 to 5 goes once. 5 to 10 goes twice. So you get 1 times 2 over 1, which is 2. So if we write out the equation, we should have 2 equals x plus 2. Uh, go ahead and solve it from here. Remember, you got to get the x by itself. you got to get the x on its own, right? So if you're getting the x on its own, you've got to subtract this 2. You've got to get that 2 out of there, right? Now if you subtract that 2 from that side, what do you do to the other side? You've got to subtract 2 also from this side, right? And what do you get on both sides now? 0 equals 2 minus 2, 0. So 0 equals x, or x is 0, right? x equals 0, same thing, right? Okay, so please write this one down. Negative 3 equals a half times 8x minus 6. Uh, press pause on the video, do the whole thing yourself, and then I'll go over it. So you'll probably make a mistake on this one because there's a couple of places where um, I, students often make a mistake, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just do your best and check the video, and uh, all part of the learning process. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So we've got to multiply by a half, okay? A half times everything, right? So we apply the distributive property first. I'm going to write out the whole thing. It's a half times 8x, and then, so that's the first thing, half times 8x, and then it's a, it's a half time, it's a positive times a negative, which is negative, and a half times 6. Okay. Now we like to write the 8x and the 6 as fractions just so we can help us multiply by fractions. So to write a number as a fraction you just go over 1. See 6 over 1 is 6. 8x over 1 is you know um, 8x. So at this point we can write 8x over 2 to get 4x or we can cross cancel. So whichever way you want to do it. Like I said before some students they just like to do this. Okay, that's this 8x over 2 minus, and then this is 6 over 2. That's perfectly fine. You can do that. And then they'll both simplify to give you 4x minus 
3, right? Uh, we can also cross cancel. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 8 goes 4 times, so that's a 4x minus 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 6 goes 3 times 3, right? So whatever happens, you should get 4x minus 3. Okay. So can you press pause and solve it from here? So to solve it from here, we add 3 to both sides because we want to get the x by itself. Okay. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0 on both sides. Negative 3 plus 3 here, that's 0 as well. That's 0, right? So we get 0 equals 4x. Now what do you do? What do you do now? You've got to get x by itself. x has been multiplied by what? It's been multiplied by 4. So don't you divide both sides by what? Divide both sides by 4, right? So what do you get on both sides if you divide both sides by 4? What is 0 divided by 4? No dollars divided equally among four people. Each person gets. So this is zero dollars divided equally among four children or four people. Each person gets zero, right? And four x divided by four is just x. So the answer again is x equals zero. Right?